the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Tuesday, January 3, 2023, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Plus check out our Patreon in the link down below if you want access for our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our games for today make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comment section below. New York Rangers vs Carolina Hurricanes. This is going to be a great game between two of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. The Rangers are looking to win on their home ice the Hurricanes, who have won 11 games in a row, look to control this game from the first period. The Hurricanes, who have scored 9 goals in the last two games, should pile on the goals with Sebastian Ajo, Martin Nikas, and the rest of the forward unit, carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Hurricanes, who allow only 2.54 goals per game, should also limit the Rangers' offense with Brady Skjay, Brett Pess, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Pyotr Kachetkov to make plenty of big saves. The Hurricanes should win the game with a strong performance on the road to win their 12th game in a row. Our team pick is take the Hurricanes' money line, as home favorites. Both teams have been superb at keeping the puck out of the net. New York ranks 8th in goals against per game and 7th in shots against per game. Igor Shesterkin has a record of 17.65 with a 2.41 GAA and 0.918 SV%. The Hurricanes rank 3rd in goals against per game and 1st in shots against per game. Peter Kachekov has a record of 10.1-4 with a 1.94 GAA and 0.928 SV%. He ranks second in GAA, second in SB percent, and tied for first in shutouts among all goalies in the league. The under has hit in 12 out of 21 road games for Carolina this season. This will be a lower scoring game, and the under will hit. Our total pick is take the under, 6.5 goals. Toronto Maple Leafs vs St. Louis Blues. Surprisingly, this is a head-to-head -head rivalry that the St. Louis Blues have dominated in recent times, as they hold an 8-3 record in the past 11 meetings, but with their struggles as of late and the top names they are missing, this is going to be a tough one for the first game of a very difficult four-game road trip. These are two teams heading in opposite directions, not just in the standings but in the health department as well. St. Louis has dropped four of five and just put two of their top six forwards on injured reserve. In addition, defense mentori Krug hit IR last week, taking another piece out of the lineup. Meanwhile, Toronto has been rolling over the last six or seven weeks, picking up points in 19 of their last 22 games. The Maple Leafs are getting healthier as Morgan Reilly and Brody are back to lead the blue line group, while Rasmus Andon is day to day at this point. We saw Toronto take advantage of St. Louis's defensive issues last week, and playing at home should be no different. Take the Maple Leafs here as they are in the win. Our team pick is Toronto Maple Leafs minus 1.5 goals. While both of these teams have fantastic goaltending, it's the incredibly offenses that will win them games, and in the last four meetings between these two teams, that is proven true, as the over is 4-0 over that span. For the Blues, the over is 7-1 in their past eight games, when their opponents allow two or less goals in their previous game, while the over for the Maple Leafs is 5-1 in their past six games following a win, and after netting six against the defending Stanley Cup champions last time out, it looks like there's few teams out there that can slow them down. Our total pick is over six goals. Nashville Predators vs Montreal Canadiens. I'm not thrilled to get behind either of these teams, and I don't want to lay juice with either side. However, the Nashville Predators are the better team no matter how you slice it, and they have an even bigger edge at home. The Montreal Canadiens can't get out of their own way, and they've been even worse on the road. 
if the Preds are going to turn this season around. Not only have the Canadians struggled to keep anyone out of their own net as of late, they've struggled mightily in this head-to-head -head rivalry over the past few years, and after losses of 4-1, 7-2 and 9-2 in their past three games on the road, this is a very tough way to wrap up a road trip before they head back to Montreal. In the last seven meetings between these two teams, the Predators have come away with six wins, as well as holding a dominant 5-1 mark in their past six meetings in Nashville. So with all that plus the defensive struggles working against Montreal, Montreal and Nashville are both struggling, but Nashville will have the advantage playing on its home ice. The Predators have won five of the last six at home versus Montreal, and Nashville has won six of the last seven overall against the Canadians. Montreal will be playing its seventh consecutive game on the road, and through the first six games of its seven-game road trip, the Canadians have lost five, and Montreal has lost eight of the last nine. Montreal struggles both on attack, averaging just 2.59 goals per game, as well as at their own end of the ice, allowing an average of 3.73 goals per game. Nashville is not playing that much better than Montreal, but the Predators are allowing an average of only 2.89 goals per game our team pick is. Nashville Predators minus 1.5 goals. The Nashville Predators have been a staple in the Western Conference playoffs for the past few years now, but without the depth of scoring behind their top four players, Josie, Forsberg, Granlund, Duchenne, they've struggled to consistently put together victories, leaving them sitting in sixth place in the Central Division. Well, people rave about the young, offensive stars like Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield and Kirby Dach, the Canadians have struggled to play defense in recent times, giving up four, seven and nine goals in their last three games, and until they can fix that, this is a team that just can't put any streaks together. In their past 56 games against the Western Conference, Montreal have struggled to a 15-46 record, also possessing a 6-16 record in their past 22 games playing on two days rest, and while they've got the offensive capabilities to be a fantastic team, the defense hasn't been good, and until they can figure it out, even teams like Nashville will be a struggle to beat. While the highlight of both these teams is the offense, the under is a surprisingly good move in this one, as these two teams have played some low-scoring contests as of late, with a 13-5-1 mark in their past 19 head-to-head -head clashes. For Montreal, the under is 8-3 in their last 11 games against teams with a losing record, and for the Nashville Predators, the under is 7-3 in their last 10 contests against the Eastern Conference, so while well, there's been plenty of highlights with these teams as of late, the scoring struggles will come back to haunt them in this one. Our total pick is to take the under 6 goals.